A tradition unlike any other, though, Reg, begins once again tomorrow in Augusta, Georgia. That's right. It's time for the Masters, where even if you don't care about golf, now you do. Actually, let me know. Do you care about the Masters? 877-881-1053. Because I do think that it, we've gotten so used to like the sports schedule, at least on a national scale, on the things that we're supposed to care about. Where, like, you know about stuff, maybe even if you don't really care about them, but you just kind of know about it, right? And the Masters is one of those big ones, right? It is it is the one thing in golf that even if you do not care at all, you have some idea what's happening with the Masters. Uh, so I am interested. How, how interested, if at all, are you in the Masters as we head to Augusta National? And uh, shout out to the ringer who also give us nine questions ahead of the Masters. But I kind of just want to get into this because, I, I mean, obviously the Masters, big time, like I said, big thing, big item or event rather on the sports calendar. And we are a day away from getting the tournament underway. So with that being the case, KG, how how interesting is the Masters to you personally? OK, so here is my love hate relationship with golf. Oh, apologies to Will Chambers and RJ Choppy. So naturally, mm -hmm. when Tiger Woods was, you know, dominating the world of golf. That's right. Stop down event every single year, every time. All the majors with Tiger Woods. Since his, you know, unfortunate running with that golf club that one time and then everything else subsequently after that. Oh, when his ex-wife tried to beat him down? <laughs> right. The, the unfortunate run-in with the golf club that mm, one time. Okay. Got you. Um, you know, it's been a little different. It's been a little different. But there are still a plethora of stars in the game. Obviously, the Jordan Spieths of the world, the Scotty Schefflers of the world, um, who have continued, the Roy McElroys of the world, who have obviously made the game um, still entertaining to watch. But at the same time, it doesn't have quite the same, you know, buzz. You know, Brooks Kepka, John Rahm, some of the big hitters of the game. Scotty uh, Scheffler. Yeah, Scotty Scheffler, as I mentioned. Yeah, you know, those are the guys that you look at and say, okay, what can those gentlemen bring? It, real, real quick, what has happened to Brooks Kepka? Like, what, what's the deal? What's what's the deal with Brooks Kepka these days? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, okay. Another question that the ringer asked, you mentioned, you mentioned Roy McIlroy, you mentioned John Rahm. Who has the most at stake with this Masters between Roy McIlroy, John Rahm, or Scotty Scheffler, right? Rahm has never finished higher than fourth, and Augusta hasn't claimed the major since 21, so there's that. Um, and Scheffler, who is the world number one, um, won the Masters last year. With those things being the case, you know who has the most at stake? Roy McIlroy. And why? Because he hasn't won a major, talk less of the Masters, since 2014. Yeah. Right? Like, this is crazy because you think about it, you talked about Tiger, and Tiger is the, you know, was the fascinating, you know, world conquering persona and story that everybody that was in the sports world knew about Tiger Woods, right? And that brought people in, and people looked at, well, who is the next Tiger? And it's supposed to be Rory. Rory ain't won a damn thing in like a decade, right? Like, that's. That's kind of incredible because everybody was willing to go, all right, well, this is the next guy. All right, let's see what he does. And he hasn't won in a while. Not to say that he's not good. Like, he still plays good golf. But, yeah, man, give us something Give us something to have some level of feeling about, Rory. So that's that's something that I think we'll be on the lookout for uh, with this Masters. Is, hey, man, what is Rory going to produce? And I'm sorry. I forgot. That's why I don't, haven't paid attention to Bruce Kepka because he's over there playing with Liv. Yeah. That that's another part of it. Yeah. Right. Those, those live guys. You talk about live. You talk about Dustin Johnson. Yes. Who might be um question. Do any of the live guys stand a chance? Right. Because again, this is this is kind of on the PGA tours um turf. And the PGA tour really wanted to just get these live guys out here. It was like, nah, you can't you, we you can't play with us no more. Well, the majors are like, well, we don't care what the PGA tour says. Yeah, the main, we want these dudes over here playing. Augusta National don't bow to nobody. They Correct. like we this we do this event because we want to like, yes. this is a level of publicity that we've decided that we want and if we want this to be the big event that we want it to be all the best golfers in the world about to be here yes i don't care about y'all's petty little thing so for the pga tour they're going to be out here like yeah, yeah, yeah we would like it if the pga tour cats win and not the live cats win the problem is right over there on live they kind of doing this weird exhibition you know what i mean and it's again if you are invested in live being like a good thing or like a, a thing mm -hmm. that is a uh, prominent or what have you, 
you're you're not going to view it in those ways. But in some ways, like you talk about the way that uh, wins aren't actually benefiting the guys over there. There's kind of uh, your money is good whether you win or lose. Some people wonder if that like takes away the competitive fire. And so like the idea that, hey, man, you back in this real live competition, do you still got it? It's going to be very interesting to see because you talk about uh, a lot of the a lot of Masters winners that went to live are over um, in the Masters. And of course, because Greg Norman, who is in charge of the Masters, has targeted Masters win or not Masters in charge of live rather has targeted um, Masters winners. Talk about Phil Mickelson, Charles Swartzel. Bubba Watson, Sergio yeah. Garcia, Patrick Green, and of course, Dustin Johnson, right? So they have those guys in there, have some experience winning at this course. But with that being the case, it's like, yo, how will that fare? And kind of what what will that be like? Because it seems like it has been a little frosty between live guys and PGA Tour guys. And I wonder if this is going to end up being like golf beef? Because I would like to see that. Well, just imagine if one of those live guys actually does win, you know, one of these. Oh, someone at the PGA Tour is going to be incensed. Yeah. But at the same time, those cats went over there because the money was the money. Mm -hmm. And Dustin Johnson went in, in getting all that money. Brooks kept you as the as the uh, three six zero points out. Just won last week four million dollars again. I don't pay attention to live, so I didn't know Brooks Kepka was still out here winning golf tournaments. I know he won like last year, uh, but at the same time, live not really on my television because I got better things to do. Um, but at the same time, uh, one thing I am looking forward to that has nothing to do with this list. Okay, <clears throat> is this right here? Are you ready? Hello, friends. <laughs> Welcome to the 2023 Masters here at Augusta National. My name is Jim Nance. Is it? I'm back after calling 100 Final Fours in my career, <laughs> saying goodbye to CBS and the Final Four. By the way, press pause on Jim. Um, how the hell did Jim Nance quit college basketball? before Raftry did, right? Like, how did this happen? His old self sitting next to Jim Nance. Jim Nance is like, I think I've got, I think I've got too many. <laughs> I think I've got enough. I think it's time. <laughs> Jim Raftry's like, hey man, I'm That's gonna keep going. excellent point. We give you all these onions calls. He got out after, or before Raftry got out the game. But yeah, that's my, um, that's my annual uh, Jim Nance impression. Thank you for that. I feel, I feel so serene now. You're welcome. That was a pretty good impression. Is it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. For what it's worth. My friend Tony Romo. <laughs> Who is at the Mavs game, by the way. Is at the Mavs Looking game. like he's been enjoying life. Let's say it like that. Looking thick today. <laughs> <laughs> you should be glad you were able to control the buttons, because if not, you would have been marked just now. That's right. Um, You know what's interesting about Augusta National? You remember when Tiger Woods went and just like overpowered it, and they were like, oh, we're going to right yeah, we we're gonna change this, up a little bit. this and then it was just all these lefties coming through <laughs> gotta tiger proof this a little bit right right right, right. <laughs> um with that being the case like they've kind of done something a little different here right now it plays about 600 yards further than it did then <laughs> right like they i mean some of this is the modern game right dude's yeah. just hitting the mess out of the just ball bombing away all the time but this is this has become <laughs> a longer course uh the big change this year is at uh 13 which is a par five and that was length in 35 yards so it's just like we're we're going to continue to make this a longer course so I, that'll be an interesting addition to this for those people that like care about the nitty-gritty of this uh the question that all of the more casual people are going to ask what will tiger do right because there's a lot of people that we've seen that yeah. are like i don't care about the masters or even, I might kind of care about the master, but I don't care about golf. And the thing that brought all these people in, including myself, is, hey, man, Tiger. Is, if Tiger's showing up, especially to this day, if, Tiger, day. if Tiger's playing well on a Sunday, right, if he has a chance on a Sunday, Here people, for it. people are there, right? And so people are like, yo, what's Tiger up to? Because he's he is playing in this tournament. And he even acknowledged, like, it's weird. We're getting to this place where, I, do you feel old? Because Tiger's like, I don't know how many more masters I got in me. I mean, you do let me know every time we get on the show. You're 36. Exactly. Thank you for the setup. Right. Um, but no, Tiger quite literally acknowledged, he's acknowledging his mortality now. So it's like, yo, we we all, and I feel comfortable saying this, we all would love to see Tiger win. Of course. At the masters or anywhere. Yeah. Um, but like, what is fair to expect of him? Because he is what, like a year or two, no, two years rem removed from that car crash where they were considering amputating his leg. Yeah, like the amount of preparation that Tiger has to do just to gear up for one tournament these days is extensive. And, you know, people will harken back to, of course, Jack winning 
you know, his final masters in his late forties, you know, to see if Tiger Woods can do something similar in the twilight of his, you know, regular PGA tour or career, even with all the things that he and his body have been through for the better part of 25 years uh, at this point. So in that sense, yeah, I do feel old because the fact that Tiger Woods got out here and won his first Masters, what, in 1997? <laughs> yeah. Help. And it's 1990, or now it's 2023. I know you did not just say 1990. No, 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 I'm just saying. Um, I mean, that just gives you the, the lifespan of what we've been working with for Tiger Woods and as long as we've been doing that. So to expect him to win at this point in his career would be nice. Um, but expected to win or to compete at the very top to, you know, to win, not necessarily these days. So I would love it though. Um, it'd be great. Um, the expectation here from the ringer is that he'll make the cut, but obviously like when it comes to the opportunity of winning it, we might just be asking for way too much. Right. So just have joy, right? Like enjoying, enjoying Tiger Woods out there, I'm sure is going to be fun. Um, but I am just really excited about this live portion of this. Um, did you hear that Phil Mickelson at the uh, at the Champions Dinner didn't say nothing to nobody? Whatever. Like I, I, I'm over Phil Mick Phil Mickelson. All right. Like I get it. Like I get it. He didn't do a pre Masters press conference. Uh, All right. It's it's drama. It's drama. I mean, but it's drama. In, in all seriousness, what what's he got to say? At this point, some smarmy. Is that <laughs> what he typically does? I, I, like, what's what's what does Phil Mickelson have to say at this point in his career that's interesting to me? Not a lot. Um, let's see here. I was trying to find the odds on who is winning, who's the favorite to win this year's tournament. While you look for the odds, I can give you who the ringers putting forward. One one of the uh, experts here says Scotty Scheffler, obviously yes. to to win the back to back first time since 02 I believe or 03 okay. when Tiger did it okay, which here we go. yeah 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 uh, Max Homa is a name that's being thrown out here as well and of course Tony Finau who let me tell you <laughs> Tony Finau will not win this Tony Finau will look good because that's what Tony Finau do and he for some reason like 20 he, birdies in a row I, I love me some tournament. Tony Finau he yeah. just for some reason actually actually winning the major not something that happens uh, let's see here from let's see Caesar Sportsbook for example uh, the favorite right now is Scotty Scheffler plus 550, Roy McElroy plus 600, John Rahm plus 800, Jordan Spieth uh, plus 1400. Oh, yeah. Bring Jordan Spieth back because there was a, he was a superstar for a little moment. We thought he was going to go on a run run. Yeah, but that's an unfair thing. Like, that's the Tigerification of golf. We done thought every the next next person who wins is going to win forever. Except, no, that <laughs> was just Tiger being an alien. Yep. This is the same thing with Roy McIlroy. Right. A lot of those dudes. Yeah. This is just kind of, this is more what golf is. You win one every once in a while and you just kind of compete. Tiger was like, no, I'm just going to win all of these because I'm different. <laughs> and we were like, okay, but who's next? There's no next. There was just Tiger. And I mean, obviously behind before him, Jack Nicholas and all the, but like it, it takes quite literally one of the greatest solids of all time. We're like, okay, where's the next great of, greatest of all time? What are we doing right now? Did the same thing with Jordan. We really did. We were like, who is the next Jordan? Are you serious? Grant like, Hill. Jerry Stackhouse. Grant Hill would have been nice if that injury did not come through. That's very true. Very true. Anyways, Master starts tomorrow. They tee off tomorrow. They obviously, ESPN will have some coverage. CBS will have that coverage. Some coverage. Obviously, Masters.com. Have you ever been on like Masters.com the way that they set it yeah. up during? I, I told you when Tiger Woods was making, when you know was doing his thing. Oh, you was at work scrolling. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> they really Masters app downloaded, following featured groups. Amen corner. Yeah, I'm like, look, man, following I, all that. I have I I could speak on some of my uh, issues with Augusta National as like an entity, but they know how to throw a party, man. Like yes, you talk about yes. Like, obviously, people will talk about the dinner, and people will talk about like the prices of the stuff out there and how immaculate and pristine it is, and also the way that they do the media. It's all really cool. Again, I could talk about the issues, but man, I cannot deny that they throw a good party. <laughs>